Hello my fellow hippos and welcome to my tutorial about the Titler add-on. The Titler is a customizable lower third add-on for Resolute Avenue and Arena and it will work with version 7.10 and above. Now let's start and go through the features. First of all we have two modes available to choose from, manual mode and timed mode. With the manual mode the in and out buttons will launch the in and out transition of the Titler. In, and out. With the timed mode we need only the in button as the out transition will be activated automatically based on the duration of the timeout property. Now let's enter 5 seconds for the timeout and press the in button. And what's happening is that the output transition will be triggered 5 seconds after we pressed the in button. On both modes the speed controller will define the speed of the transition. Now let's choose manual mode again and press in. So as most lower thirds we have two text lines, a name and a title, and they can be aligned to the left or to the center. We can also change the size of the titles and if we want to fine tune positions we can use the line space option and the X position option. There is also a text shadow option and of course we can change the color of the text. For the background box we have two color pickers which will create a gradient between the top and the bottom of the box. If you want only one color we should use the same color for both. I will undo that for now. The box opacity controller allows to make the background transparent. The darkness controller will make the background darker. And this will come in handy with the overlay mode which I will be explaining about in a minute. There is also a color rotate controller that will allow us to try some colored appearances. If you don't like edges or want a thicker or a thinner one just use the edge controller. And if you want to change the edge color just use the edge color picker. For the roundness of the corners, we can control each corner individually, so you can get various results. The last and most exciting feature will be the overlay mode. When selected, it will replace the background box with the clip the effect is placed on, and this is going to allow for endless possibilities. Now let's try some background. Now, if the contrast between the background and the text is too low, then we can use the darkness controller to darken the background and make everything more readable. And now I don't have to give up on this amazing super bright look. So after we completed customizing the title, we can duplicate it or save it as a preset and change names and titles. We might want to rename the clip's name as well for easy identifying. Now, before we resize or position the final title, we should drag it above the transform group and from here we can start moving things around. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe to my channel if you like and I wish you all happy titling. See you soon with more tutorials. One more thing I would like to address is resizing background elements with overlay mode. If we add a video loop or an image as the background, then sometimes we need to adjust its position as well. Let's look at this image and enable the Titler add-on. Now I can scale and move the position of the image. I can also rotate it if needed. And let's add some darkness as well. For now it looks as I want it. But the problem is, 
If I drag the final title before the transform effect, I will lose my image position settings. So to resolve this, I just need to go to the effects panel, enter transform, and put the effect at the bottom of the titler add-on. And now I have two transform effects, one for adjusting the background and the other one for resizing and positioning of the whole title.